Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a look at Lerato Ranyako's less than fairy tale life. Lerato's less than rosy upbringing. Looking at Lerato Ranyako's relatives, you would conclude that she grew up soft. She is related to Keza Ranyako, a former SABC spokesperson, Reserve Bank Governor Leseja Ranyako. However, these moneyed relatives only came into her life after she had made it big. Blasting a twerp that had claimed she is where she is because of connections, she tweeted the following, You don't know how I'm related to these people, how late they came into my life, where and how I was raised. Do you know I didn't have money for tertiary? Do you know I worked five years with no pay do you know how my family struggled fuck out of here with your bitterness even last year when she was arguing with jube jube over the looting in durban she said the following my father lost his job when i was 16 till today he hasn't worked my mother is a nurse i took myself to school as they couldn't afford you think you know my family based on my surname you actually don't know my real family the Bonang Mateba comparison. The actor Kanyako has been in the industry for over a decade, but she has been struggling to build their brand without people comparing her to Bonang Mateba because they do a lot of the same things with the TV presenting and radio. From as early as 2018, she has been accused of trying to copy Bonang's style of presenting, including the way Bonang speaks. Nicknames like Bonang Wasekasi and Bonang Light have been used over the years to discredit her work. The late Kuli Roberts even had a dinner with fellow celebs including Bonang, Mateba, Boiti and Somizi where she bullied and belittled Lerato saying she would never be Bonang no matter how hard she tried. She, you know Lerato sounds like she's Bonang whenever she presents. <laughs> that bullying resulted in her first miscarriage and they're getting on to antidepressants. Just a few weeks ago, Kuli's friend Musa Kaula started taunting her all over again over the whole Bonang thing, causing her to break down on IG Live. I'm tired. I'm tired of being big and better. As she detailed the years of abuse and bullying she had to endure at the hands of Kuli Roberts and Musa Kaula, it seems this comparison will always follow her even after decades of proving herself in the industry. Her failure to have kids. Lerato has always been open about wanting children. She even calls herself mother. Despite her wanting to be a mother so bad, she has suffered four miscarriages to date. Her first miscarriage happened so many years ago, but she kept trying and the last attempt was only a year ago. Taking to her IG, she told the fans that she had thought this was it and that the baby would make it through. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. She reveals that she had tried IVF and was in the process of freezing her eggs. But it seems baby number four was the last straw for her because she says she is done trying to fall pregnant herself because the losses are just too painful. She has talked about surrogacy and adopting but is hesitant because she has always wanted to carry her own baby to full term the natural way. A scammer husband. It is no secret that Lerato's husband Tamin Lala is a big spender. Last year he booked out the entire FNB stadium for Valentine's Day. This year he surprised her with a hotel and many other extravagant gifts. All these gestures had the masses sabawailing, but Tologuti is allegedly a broke scammer and the stories are just too many. Earlier this year, he was taken to court over unpaid rent amounting to over 225,000 rand. Last year, he made headlines over owning two IDs, one saying he was born in 1981 and the other saying he was born in 1988. Another report had him allegedly defrauding retired people of their investments through a bogus forex company. Do you remember when Lerato was talking about living near the president? Tanu reported lied about owning that house. In 2012, he and a friend allegedly bought two luxury vehicles using fake documents. Phew, it's a lot. Please don't even get me started on him being accused of being a deadbeat father of three. If this is all true, then that marriage is doomed unless Lerato is ready to be a prison wife or something like that. There you have it guys, while Lerato's life looks perfect, it's not and the radio and TV personality has had more than her fair share of troubles. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye.